so you know. Today I think we're gonna go to Blackburn, which is where I used to live. We're gonna go to the shopping centre, the Blackburn, no, Forest Hill. It's one of those places where I went back when I was like 16, right? But before that, I hadn't been there since I was 10. And I could still remember the way around in my head. Like, that was my world. When, you know when you're little and you only have like five places that you've ever really been and that's like your whole world. That shopping centre and my school, I, I can remember my old school. I can remember the way around. I did, again, I visited back when I was like 16. And they changed everything. Rude. I'm gonna probably revisit at least a lake that's near it. I wanna walk around the lake. So yeah, I think we're gonna get noodle soup because my mum says the braised beef noodle soup is amazing at Forest Hill. And Brit noodle soup is my favorite. I think we're gonna do Christmas shopping. My mum wants to get my sisters some stuff. So, yes. I'm currently reading Prime Prejudice. Have yet to finish. Been doing a slower read of this one. 84 still. Really? I thought I've read some. Anyway, page 84. Um, we'll see if I read it by the end of these two weeks. Because this is only two weeks and I probably have read a book in a week. <clears throat> That's great. I want to start anything else and then not finish it. I want by the end of the year to have finished every book that I've started kind of thing. I don't know why. I just want to go into the year with a clean slit. But yeah. So let's go to the shops let's walk down memory lane very successful trip so I got Medea and other plays I read Medea in drama in year 12 and I think so did this person because they've got these of highlights which people might be annoyed about I'm not I'm pretty keen because now I'll actually understand what the fuck's going on and my dad mentioned this book and my mum's read it as well and it's called the first day murder club it's written by Richard Osman. He's like a comedian, I do believe, or like a TV presenter. And apparently it's really good. Um, it's just about some old people that try and solve murders. And I love that, wholesome vibes. And now, the piece de resistance. Brain training, right? I have the second one. I got that, in I got that the other day. But now I have the first one. And also, even better, I got heaps of DS games. I mean, I think I have now like 15. I've never had this many in my life. We have Nintendo Dogs. Lab and Friends. Nintendo Dogs. Dash Hound and Friends. Tangled, the Disney game. Barbie Jet Set in style. I'm gonna give this to my friend because we both love Barbie. Moshy Monsters. Moshling Zoo. I don't know if that's different to the like original. And then Spider-Man 3. All of them, so cheap. My mum works at Salvo's, as I've mentioned, so she gets a discount. They were like $3 each. Beautiful. Like, I guess I added to my DS collection. I've got so many. And this book sounds amazing. This was a really good friggin' haul. Honestly, when I was little, I never had this many. Ever. I never even had Moshi Monsters. I don't know what it is. I just, all I want now is Mario Kart and a charger. But my friend has a DS, so I can at least borrow her charger to make sure it works. If not, they have heaps of other DSs at that shop. It's great. Absolutely slaps. Good morning. So, day two. 
we are going into the city. We are meeting my sister at Luna Park. We're not going to Luna Park, but we're meeting her there. And then I think we're just going to like a cafe or something, maybe a beach. We are just gonna hang out with the fam and catch up with my sister. I'm wearing one of my shirts. You might have noticed I'm wearing everything I have bought. That's because I literally brought nothing. So I'm forced to wear the stuff that I bought <laughs> on this trip. So that's why I'm reusing outfits and only wearing five things. Anyway, so let's head out. It's the DS charger. Let's see if it is the right one. It was four dollars. So, okay. Oh, I don't think I'll. Oh, yeah, I won't. Oh no. It's the wrong one. It's like the right shape. Oh, that's. Is that the where I'm gonna charge it from? Fish. That's so sad. I bought that for four dollars for nothing. I don't know. I I ordered it yesterday, so another one. I'll try and get another one. <sighs> but I got this. It's a little sticky thing. You put it in your hair and you twist it. But yeah. It's cute. Anyway. Oh, that's such a shame. Alright, try again, I guess. Good morning. Today is Monday. This may be my last day able to go up shopping. So I am gonna go around some local up shops and then I'm gonna try and go, I'm gonna go to two secondhand bookshops, see if I can find the goddamn Princess Bride. I'm gonna go back to that one that I went to before and then if that one's just not open again, I'll go to the other one that's like 10 minutes away that I didn't know about. <sighs> so that's the plan. In the evening, my mum has like a Christmas dinner thing, work thing. So I'm gonna go to that with her. So I'll pick her up from work and then we'll go to a restaurant, I think. I'm hoping to find some more DS games. Um, keep my eye out for them. It's really fun looking for those. I found so many. I'm very shocked that they still exist. And I ordered another charger for the DS. Hopefully this one fits. Um, and that should be here today also. So that's what's happening. Let's get to it. swear to god i went to the one in belgrave and then the same shop just in a different location in sasa france which is a really cute area but no, neither of them are open not a i don't understand are they all shut they're like a franchise i don't i don't know that's really annoying it looks like i'm just gonna have to get it online i'm never gonna find these goddamn books anyway now, um, it's like three o'clock. I have to pick my mum up at five and I'm like 10 minutes away from where she is. <sighs> so I think I've got like a skirt I need to return for her from TK Maxx. So I'm gonna do that. So I have to go back to Forest Hill because they're the only one that like, that's where we got it. And 
we tried to take it back at a different one, but they didn't have the same one in a different size. Anyway. Um, and that one is near the Ringwood servers. So I think I might just kill two hours by going to K Max and then going to Ringwood. And then come back. But disappointing. I didn't get that High School Musical DS game. I thought that would be a bit... I don't know. <laughs> I thought about it, but I was like... Do I need it? Will I ever use it? Will I understand what the rules are? No. So, that is the updated plan. Both those um, op shops that I went to didn't get anything. They were both a bit shit. So sad. I'm, I think I'm jinxing myself by telling the vlog what I want to get. I thought you meant to put it out into the universe and then you get it back. No, I'm just cursing myself. Anyway, let's go to TK Max. Alright, so, very unsuccessful day. Did not get a single thing. Um, currently picking up my mother and then we're gonna go out for dinner. But, yeah, absolutely terrible. Um, I do have in Brisbane, there is a like little shop in a shopping centre where it like sells like old like games and stuff, like secondhand games and like movies and stuff. So I'm hoping that I will be able to get a like Mario Kart there on DS. So when I go back to Brisbane, then I'll be looking out there for it. But honestly, I think this is it for me. Op shopping wise, I've only got two days left. Um, I'm sure maybe if we go out and do stuff, we might pop into an op shop, but I'm not gonna go out and look for anything. So yeah, let's go get some food. done much I've just been on my computer so haven't really started the day and I just had a shower and now I'm ready to rumble um, I want to finish the bag so I'm making making the bigger and then I'm gonna do four on each side and then I'm gonna do a handle and this is what the squares look like I gave up on my last top and now I started afresh and I made these squares. So today's mission, finish the bag, maybe read, we'll see how we go, and maybe play some DS. I have, I did play some last night, um, and I checked all the games, or most of them, to see if they work. Finish these, maybe read, play some DS. I'm flying back at 5pm, but I have to set off at 2 to get to the airport 
for three ish, three, three thirty, depending on traffic. And then I fly home. But the only flights that were available when I was booking were a flight where you have to stop off, which it's a two hour flight. Why do I have to stop off in the middle? Anyway, so it's going to be like a three hour flight. So I'll get home at like nine. All in all, it's like seven hours of travel. Uh, my plan for today, just read Pride Prejudice. I am up to currently page 100, chapter 23. So I'm going to read this and then I'm also going to read it on the plane, which is four hours or like seven hours <laughs> of just reading time. And then I'm also taking my DS on the flight. So if I get bored of reading, I can just play Sudoku or with my nintendo dogs or something like that anyway so that's the plan for today um yeah it's gonna be sad to go i'm only two hours away so i can always fly back if i ever need but it's probably gonna be a few months until i see my family again but yeah it's been a fun fun little vlog fun little time i've been liking um vlogging and editing and stuff it's been quite fun so i'll probably touch base when i get home and just say the final goodbyes so in the book mr collins has already has proposed to elizabeth and then charlotte lucas who is is prominently talking to him a, a lot more than in the adaptions because i was always like he talked to her for 20 minutes and then he asked her to marry him but no like she was talking to him constantly throughout the past couple of days because I think she knew what she was doing but let's be honest you know how Mr. Collins spoilers um Mr. Collins says that um women tend to reject men's proposals so that their like affections grow fonder I mean it was a dick thing to say but also he's not wrong she legitimately rejects Mr. Darcy and then he's like still pining after her and then she, he proposes again and she says yes. So I mean, it's a bit of foreshadowing if we're honest. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna keep reading this. Let's go. Mr. Bennett is so easily ready to dismiss anything a woman does as foolish and silly and unsensible is actually getting on my nerves. Like, in the adaptions, it never really bothered me, but, like, he's calling Charles Lucas, like, silly as his wife and as foolish. And it's just like, babes, she is 27, and back in those days, they ha you are a burden to your family. It's kind of infuriating. Like, ugh, women without us they would die but if they marry us it's they're foolish it's like babes what you have trapped us in a system and you judge us for playing to that system i also never understood why mrs bennett was so annoyed that charlotte lucas is married mr collins like she's like elizabeth's best friend if you keep that relationship good you won't have to worry about them taking the house away from you right like they if you're good friends, I'm sure they won't want to leave you homeless. But she's just ignoring them and being petty and all this shit. And it's like, would you rather it be someone else you don't know and doesn't give a shit about you? And doesn't care whether or not you're homeless? Or someone who wouldn't want to ruin the friendship she has with Elizabeth and take away her family home? At least that's what I always thought. Maybe there's something deeper in it, but... I mean, it is stupid that girls can't possess houses. Don't get me wrong. I've gotten to the part where Charlotte has been like, Elizabeth, we have to talk. Like, all the time. I want to still be friends, kind of thing. And Elizabeth's like, sure. But she's only doing it because she's curious to see what their marriage is going to be like. She doesn't want to be friends with them. Well, she, she doesn't want to be friends with Charlotte. She's like, oh, it's for what was, not what is. And it's like, babe, are you letting a man get between you and your best friend? It's actually 
kind of annoying. Elizabeth is kind of annoying me. Like, I know she's proud and stubborn, but she's also really fucking selfish, which, again, is probably the point. But she can't say that her friend is actually kind of happy. Like, yeah, she's with an insufferable man, but who isn't? I always thought that she was just shocked about it, and she was like, why are you marrying Mr. Collins? He's, like, the worst. And then in every adaption, she always, like, gets over it really quickly, and she's like, we're friends. Let's not let this stupid man get in between our friendship. That's exactly what she's doing. I mean, I'm sure in a few pages' time it might change. She's also being super harsh. Like, she was talking to Jane earlier about it, and she was like, oh, they're both really dumb, and I can't believe she would be with him and all this shit. And she was being horrible. And Jane was like, babe, calm down. Situation and circumstance really fucking play a part. But Elizabeth's like, no. That's not how it works. She's been really horrible. I guess maybe the whole thing with um Mr. Darcy and Wickham kind of changes her view on life and like how what is perceived and what is is very different. So maybe that this is like a plot point in that. But we'll have to see. <laughs> again just because I think it'll be fun so I bought Christmas Carol and other stories um, the Hound of Basque Ovilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle the Kiss Caution Her Wolves by Louis Satcher Van Gogh Timothy de Fombel and then Euripides Medea and other plays and then the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. So yeah, I got a nice little stack of books. But yeah, I'm really happy with all the stuff that I got and all the books that I got. Um, I'm back home now, where we first started. And it's been fun. I enjoy doing the vlogs. I'll probably do some again in like a few months time when I visit my family again. So it's not the end. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I see you in the next one.